Shana Simone Yoga. This episode is inspired by what is actually happening in my life right now, which it's crazy busy. It's season in the office. So we're ripping and we're running. There's a high level of stress and anxiety. There is lack of time. And so sometimes we need to just have a quickie, okay? Get it over and done with. So this episode, we're actually comparing a quickie and how that relates to just a quick, real quick session uh, of yoga. All right, so you can still get the benefits. So let's just talk about a couple of ways in which they relate. For example, when you have a quickie, you, there's no need for you to get undressed all the way. So as you can see, I am not even dressing up for yoga for this session because it's just a quick down and dirty. So whatever you have on, wear that okay it also offers a change of scenery so just like a quickie you can have um, fun anywhere in your house or that's up to you but what we're talking about today is yoga you know check out our yard series we offer yoga in the backyard in the front yard uh, in the bedroom in the living room in the driveway in the garage anywhere that you can find the space to do it, do it. Also, it will fuel the desire. So just like people who have a low sex drive, the more often you have sex is the more often you're going to want to have it. So same thing with yoga, the more, excuse me, the more often you do it is the more often you are going to want to do it. Practice makes perfect. So the more you do it, is the better you become, okay? So even if it's only five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just do it. Um, it also benefits your health. There are a slew of reasons why sex helps um, or benefits your health. Uh, you know, studies show that couples who have sex at least three times a week appear to be 10 years younger than they actually are. Same thing with yoga, my friends. The more often you do it, is the better you feel, is the better you look. So whatever you have on, wherever you are, let's get this quickie on the road. Um, just one other point. I don't recommend foregoing the foreplay when you're having a quickie. Same thing with yoga. You still need to warm up, okay? So meet me back here on the mat. See you in a minute. Namaste. So welcome back, yogis. Get into a wide-legged child's pose. Your knees are as wide as the mat. Toes, big toes touch. Reach your glutes back on your heels and forward fold, bringing your forehead to the mat, slowly massaging to the left, to the right, breathing in for the count of five, breathing out for the count of six. Using this time to set an intention for the practice, even though it's a quickie, we still want to be mindful. Inhale together, walk that torso over to the right. Bring that left ear to the mat, opening up the left side body. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale together, pick up the torso, walk it over to the left, bringing the right ear to the mat, folding, melting into your mat, opening up the right side body. Breathing in and out, letting go of that stress and anxiety. We're leaving it off the mat for the next few minutes. Inhale, pick up, come back to center, and go ahead and set your intention. What would you like to invite more of into your life? Peace, harmony, flexibility, organization, happiness, whatever it is, go for it. Inhale, walk the hands back towards the 
torso for some seated dancing lions. Grab your thighs, your knees, and organically start to move your body in any direction, any pace, simply synchronizing the movement with the breath. And when you're ready, reverse the direction, making sure to breathe in through the nose slowly and out through the nose slowly. Come back to center. Let's meet in a tabletop. Fingers are spread wide. Tuck your toes. Inhale, hover the knees up off the mat. Exhale, come into downward dog. Toes are slightly tucked in, heels slightly tucked out, pressing the chest towards the thighs. Inhale, right leg up, hip height. Exhale, knee to nose, round. Hold it, push it back. This time, bring the right knee to the right elbow, hold it, push it back. Right knee, left elbow, cross the body, hold it, push it back. This time, bring that right leg all the way through for right side runner's lunge. Gently lower the knees, untuck the toes, swing it up, half crescent, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Tuck your left toes, bring that left knee up, smile. Hands frame the right foot. Swing that right leg back, three-legged downward dog. Slowly lower the right leg to meet the left. Chaturanga, come into high plank. Scoop it down and up for upward dog, downward dog. Breathe. Remembering to press the chest towards the thighs. Inhale, left leg up, hips height, heel, flex through the heel. On the exhale, knee to nose, round, hold it, swing it back. Left leg, left elbow, hold it, swing it back. Right leg, right elbow, hold it, swing it back. This time, bring it all the way through. Left side runner's lunge. Gently lower the left knee. Untuck the right toes. Swing it up. Smile. Tuck the right toes. Straighten that right leg. Breathe. Hands frame the left leg. Swing that left leg back. Three-legged downward dog. Gently lower the left leg to meet the right. Chaturanga, come into high plank, lower down, scoop it up for dog, breathe, down or dog. Breathe. High on your toes, bend your knees, look out in front, walk, jump, or float your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, vocal exhale. Inhale, flat back, vocal exhale. Last one, inhale, flat back, vocal exhale. Reverse one. Hands to prayer, bring them to the chest. Relax the shoulders, settle the mind, settle the breath. Big wide step to the left, toes are parallel. Inhale, interlace fingers behind the back, fold back. Exhale, forward fold. Gently release the arms. Yogi's choice, use peace fingers to grab your big toes. Pull your head in between your legs, forward fold. Or grab the outside of each foot allowing the elbows to splay out, pulling the head between the legs, fold, or come into any inversion that you have in your practice. Breathe. Find stillness or play.
wherever you are gently come out of the posture come into a left side runner's lunge kick that right leg up standing split on the left breathe gently lower the right leg to meet the left ragdoll it up one inch at a time find stillness mountain pose tadasana wide-legged step to the left toes are parallel inhale interlace fingers behind the back come back forward fold breathe release the hands this time right hand left ankle release the left hand to the sky and reverse left hand right ankle release the right hand breathe come back to center this time go for a wide-legged forward fold so reach your hands as far away from you as possible and fold forward stay here or come into any inversion that you currently have in your practice and once again find stillness or play breathe letting go of any stress any worries wherever you are gently come out of the posture with control we are currently on a left side runner's lunge jump switch to right side lift that left leg to the sky for standing split on the right gently lower the left leg to meet the right inhale flat back vocal exhale inhale flat back vocal exhale inhale flat back vocal exhale ragdoll it up come into yogi squat breathe use the elbows to help push the thighs open if this is uncomfortable gently rock from side to side opening up the hips releasing any stress us ladies tend to hold a lot of stress there let go let's come into a seated posture for some forward folds remove any extra flesh flex through the toes inhale arms up exhale forward fold hold inhale lengthen exhale fold deeper slowly come up to seated bring the arms behind you fingers are pointed towards you press the heels and toes together point the toes lift the hips up off the floor for reverse plank release the neck release the head if it's okay with the neck yogi's choice bend the knees push the hips up for table slowly bring the hips back to the floor spread the legs wide gently come down for final shavasana remember this is a quickie allowing the legs to splay out to the side arms flop out to the side perhaps close your eyes lift your legs up off the floor and gently release squeeze your glutes gently release make fists with your hands lift them off the floor gently release make a pucker face lift your head gently release close your eyes relax your jaw relax your brow you are relaxed Stay here for as long as you like. When you're ready, reach arms up overhead, 
reach your toes away from you like you're taking a good morning stretch folding your knees into your chest gently rocking from side to side giving your lower back a gentle massage roll over to any side you prefer stacking your hips stacking your shoulders coming into fetal posture use any hand to push up into a comfortable seated position relax the shoulders smile relax the brow inhale both arms up prayer bringing them to your third eye dragging those prayer hands to your throat bringing those prayer hands to your chest the light in me recognizes and honors the light in you its truth its beauty its strength take this energy you have created with you for the remainder of the day the remainder of the week thank you for allowing me to be your guide we'll see you next time on shauna simone yoga hope you enjoyed this quickie Mwah. namaste